Hello, everyone. I would like to welcome you to our New York State Partnership Returns webinar. My name is Moisa Chasunka, and I am from the Office of Tax Policy Analysis. Today, I will be talking about New York State Partnership Returns. To begin, I will talk about who must file a partnership return. According to New York State Tax Law, Section 658C1, a partnership must file a Form IT-204, Partnership Return, if it had at least one resident partner, or if the partnership derived any income from New York State sources during the tax year. This includes gains, losses, and deductions. What is a resident partner? This would include a New York State resident individual, resident estate, or resident trust. Any other type of partner may not be considered to be a resident. New York source income includes any income attributable to ownership of any interest in real or tangible property located in New York State. It also includes income from intangible personal property employed in a trade or business carried on in New York State, as well as any income derived from a business, trade, profession, or occupation carried on in New York State. If the partnership took in any income from any of these sources, the partnership must file a New York State partnership return. So what do we mean when we say carried on in New York State? A business, trade, profession, or occupation is considered to be carried on within New York State if it occupies, has, maintains, or operates a physical space in New York State. This could be desk space, an office, a shop, a store, a warehouse, a factory, an agency, or any other place where business is systematically and regularly conducted. If a business, trade, profession, or occupation conducts business within New York State with a fair measure of permanency and continuity, that activity is also considered to be carried on within New York State. If you would like to learn more about what constitutes business carried on in New York State, see Regulation Section 132.4A2. What if your partnership does business all over the country, deriving income from many different states, including New York? In that case, in order to file your New York State partnership return, you will need to determine what percentage of your total income came from New York State sources. If business is carried on solely in New York State, all partnership income for non-resident individual partners is subject to taxation. If business is carried on both within and without New York, the partnership must calculate how much of its income, gain, loss, and deduction for the tax year must be apportioned to New York State. This can be done using either books and records or by using a formula allocation, when books and records cannot adequately determine the amount of New York income. Refer to New York State Tax Law Section 631 for more information about this. If a taxpayer has kept records that specifically identify income sourced from New York State, they should use those records to calculate their total amount of New York State income. Otherwise, they'll need to calculate their allocation using formula basis allocation. Formula basis allocation is a way of mathematically estimating what percentage of business the partnership conducts within New York State. Do not use formula basis allocation of income if you maintain books and records from which New York State business income can be determined. If you do business entirely in New York State, there's no need to allocate income since all of the income is taxable. This is also true if you have no New York State source income at all and you are only filing a return because you have a New York State resident partner. Formula basis allocation is computed on Form IT-204, Section 10, Part 2. The table is used to calculate a percentage of property, 
payroll, and gross income and use those numbers to calculate the business allocation percentage, or BAP. Partnerships use this business allocation percentage rather than the business apportionment factor used by corporations. The property percentage is computed by calculating the average value of all real and tangible property that's connected to the business and located in New York State, and dividing that number by the average value of all the real and tangible property connected to the business in total. Real and tangible property includes property both owned and rented. When calculating the average value of real property owned, use the values at the beginning and end of the taxable year. For tangible personal property owned, use the net book values at the beginning and the end of the taxable year, and not the cost. For more information, see Regulations Section 132.15D. The payroll percentage is computed by calculating the total of all wages, salaries, and compensation paid or incurred during the tax year to employees in connection with business carried on within New York State, and dividing that number by the total of all wages, salaries, and compensation paid or incurred during the tax year to employees in connection with business carried on everywhere. See Regulations Section 132.15E for more information. The gross income percentage is computed by calculating the gross sales or charges for services performed by or through an office, branch, or agency of the business located in New York State, and dividing that number by the total of all sales or charges for services performed everywhere. See Regulations Section 132.15F for more information. The business allocation percentage is then computed as the average of all three factors, the property percentage, payroll percentage, and gross income percentage. Add these three numbers and divide the total by three. Next, I will go over frequently asked questions and answers. Question. My business is a single-member, limited liability company, commonly known as LLC. Do I need to file a partnership return? The answer is, a partnership is an association of two or more persons to carry on as co-owners of a business for profit. Since a single-member LLC does not have two or more members, it is not a partnership and is not required to file a partnership return. However, a LLC that is a disregarded entity for federal income tax purposes that has income, gain, loss, or deduction from New York State sources must file form IT-204-LL. Partnership Limited Liability Company and Limited Liability Partnership Filing Fee Payment Form. The single member must also report the flow-through income on their own tax return. Question. I have a single member LLC, disregarded entity, that's 100% owned by a multi member LLC partnership doing business in New York State. Both the disregarded entity and the partnership were formed out of state. Do both LLCs need to file form IT204 LL or just the multi member LLC since the income and loss is passed on to them? The answer is, if the single-member LLC had New York State source income of any kind, either on its own or via a lower-tier partnership or LLC that flowed to it, it would be required to file IT-204-LL. Any LLC or upper-tier partnership that is an LLC that derives income from New York State sources via lower-tier entities would also need to file forms IT204LL and IT204. Question. My partnership does not do business in New York State. All of the partners are corporations, including one New York State S Corporation partner. Does the partnership need to file a New York State return? The answer is, 
A partnership must file if it is a New York State resident partner or income derived from New York State sources. Information on filing requirements can be found in Tax Law Section 658. A partnership located outside of New York State has a filing requirement if it has income derived from New York State sources, regardless of its types of partners. Please refer to New York State Tax Law Section 631 to determine if the partnership has income from New York State sources. Even if it has no New York State sourced income, a partnership located outside of New York State may still have a filing requirement if it has a New York State resident partner. For purposes of filing a partnership return, a resident partner includes a resident individual, resident estate, or resident trust. C corporations and S corporations are not considered resident partners. See Tax Law Section 605 for definitions of resident individuals, estates, and trusts. Question. My partnership has a New York State partner that's a single member LLC, which is disregarded and picked up on a 1040 for a New York State resident. Is the single member LLC treated as a New York State resident partner for purposes of the filing requirement? The answer is the partnership must file a New York State partnership return. Federal Regulation Section 301.7701-2A states, a business entity with only one owner is classified as a corporation or is disregarded. If the entity is disregarded, its activities are treated in the same manner as a sole proprietorship, branch, or division of the owner. New York State Tax Law, Section 607A states, in part, any term used in Article 22, personal income tax, shall have the same meaning as when used for federal tax purposes, unless a different meaning is clearly required. Based on the information provided, the single-member LLC is disregarded, so the 1040 filer is treated as the partner for New York State tax purposes. Since the 1040 filer is a New York State resident, the partnership meets the resident partner test and must file Form IT-204, Partnership Return. Question. If an LLC does not have any New York State resident members and has a net loss for the year, does it need to file a New York State partnership tax return? The answer is... Every partnership having any income derived from New York State sources must file a return for the tax year. New York State sourced income includes the net amount of items from income, gain, loss, and deduction entering into federal adjusted gross income, derived from or connected with New York State sources. For additional information, please refer to Tax Law Section 631-658-C1 and the Who Must File section of the instructions for Form IT-204. Next, I will discuss web resources. The New York State Tax Department website is a great resource for information. If you have questions about filing your partnership return or any other aspect of New York State taxes, please visit us at www.tax.ny.gov. The partnership's webpage provides information on the income tax responsibilities of partnerships and how to fulfill them. To get there, just go to the Tax Department's homepage at www.tax.ny.gov and search Partnerships. Scan the QR code on the screen to access the Partnerships page directly from your smartphone or tablet. We will provide this code again at the end of the presentation. Tax forms for partnerships and LLC LLPs can be viewed and downloaded from our website. Go to www.tax.ny.gov, click on Forms and Instructions in the left-hand navigation pane, or use the search box. Tax forms are available for the current tax year and for prior tax years. 
You can also visit our Answer Center for information on all aspects of New York State taxes. In addition to connecting with a variety of resources, including FAQs, you can submit questions directly to the department using our online form. There's an Answer Center for individuals and one for businesses. In case you missed it before, here is the QR code that will take you to the partnerships page on our website. We suggest you set it as a favorite or bookmark it on your computer so you can always find it. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. For more information on partnerships or any other New York State tax related questions, visit our website at www.tax.ny.gov.